A lot of frustration at tonight's Minneapolis school board meeting. The district approves an updated calendar that makes the school day and the school year longer. Fox 9's Bab Santos is in Minneapolis tonight. Bab students will now be in school for most of the month of June. Yeah, this was a five to two vote tonight, but only after a meeting with a very rocky ending. When Minneapolis Public Schools teachers left their classrooms for the picket line, their students missed out on 15 days of school. But now, students are on the hook to make up that time missed, and many families aren't thrilled about it. I'm filled with anger. After a 5-2 to two vote at a special school board meeting on Tuesday, for the rest of the school year, every class day will run 42 minutes longer, and the school year itself will run 14 days longer, ending on June 24th rather than June 10th. But some push back at Tuesday's meeting, almost shutting it down altogether. I'm not going to be held back. You have to take care of your students like so. They're upset about losing 14 days of their summer, calling that change disruptive. Emotionalmente, emotionally, economicamente, economically. Many pointed out it will interrupt summer camps, jobs, sports, and vacations. The school board went back and forth on the issue, but ultimately didn't want to risk the criminal and financial penalties that could come from noncompliance with state law, requiring a certain amount of time in school. Still, some felt the district is misinterpreting the law and called out administrators for not providing an interpreter at the meeting. I'm fed up with the disrespect. Others felt teachers were being punished for going on strike. After some 40 minutes of discussion, a group of students came into the room with a loudspeaker and took over. When they used a swear word, Superintendent Ed Graff left. Absolutely not acceptable. He's the superintendent, he's the leader, and he needed to be present, even if he was uncomfortable with the students uh, cursing. School he board member Adriana Cerrillo voted no because she wanted more time to examine the problem. The state needs to t step in. And in all that confusion today, there was some confusion among school board members about whether they had actually voted and whether they could without the superintendent there any longer. But again, ultimately, they did vote five to two in favor of this school year with a late end. Back to you.